A woman wrote into Redliner today, saying that, after 10 weeks of pregnancy, she lost her baby while her boyfriend was away on business. Although she has never smoked or done drugs, and stopped being a social drinker, the minute she found out she was pregnant at 7 weeks, she doesn't want to see a doctor because she's afraid of being arrested. She's also concerned about telling her boyfriend when he returns, because she's afraid he'll report her, and she'll be arrested. She says she's both scared and devastated, and knows that she cannot hide the loss forever but needs time and advice to figure out the best way to move forward. Hmm. What do you ladies think about this? It's a shame this is what we've come to. This woman needs to see a doctor to make sure that her body has expelled everything, or she can get into some real health problems in the near future. It sickens me to think about this poor woman. I, it's bad enough that she had to suffer the process of going through this miscarriage alone. I don't think a lot of people realize how emotionally painful that is. Not to mention the physical pain the body goes through when it spontaneously aborts a baby. Her boyfriend, not her husband? Either way she's suffering, she's in quite a dilemma. Besides a lot of married women go through things alone too. She could have been married and her husband still could have been away on a business trip. What we're overlooking here is that after everything this woman has already suffered, she still has to worry about being arrested on top of it when more than likely it's the boyfriend who should be worried about being arrested. Now how do you what figure did you that? Say? Yeah, right. That'll be the day. No, seriously. I know we keep hearing that men and women give HPV to each other, but according to studies published by the National Institutes of Health, it's men that are both reservoirs and vectors of HPV which means they carry it and spread it. It's found on the heads of their sperm and if they happen to carry a cancer-causing strain, and their cancer-causing strain impregnates a woman, it can lead to spontaneous abortion. So, before they even think about arresting this woman, they should test her boyfriend's sperm to see if he could be the reason she suffered a miscarriage, and if he is, then she should turn around and sue the boyfriend for pain and suffering. He's the one who should be worried about going to jail. Hold on now let's just reel it in for a second. Listen. I mean, look, it's simple you know? If, if we know that men carry HPV and give it to women, and that some HPV types cause cancer and spontaneous abortions, then why don't we just grab a sperm testing kit from the pharmacy and test the men before we do the deed? Problem solved. It's not that easy. Studies show that cancer-causing HPV is definitely known to cause miscarriages, but they only suggest that the reason more than 300,000 women die every year from cancer-causing HPV worldwide, compared to only 20,000 men, is because men harbor HPV. You can't be infected with something you carry naturally. What they do say, straight out, is that both men and women get infected, which is true, but it seems that men mostly get infected if they have sex with another man who carries a different strain than the one they harbor naturally. Again, that's what the studies suggest. They don't come straight out and say it. But what's the difference? It's not like you can just walk into a pharmacy and buy a sperm testing kit off the shelf. Well why the hell not? I don't know, but maybe it's because men don't want it and women aren't asking for it. What do you mean? Why wouldn't men want it? It could save a lot of women from having to go through cancer treatment or worse, dying from cancer, and could stop a lot of spontaneous abortions, so why wouldn't they want it? Any reason would have to be unspeakably selfish. I don't think it's men, per se, it may just be the business of supply and demand. Who's demanding, at home sperm testing kits? No one. A lot of women who get cervical cancer or suffer spontaneous abortions don't even realize that cancer-causing HPV sperm may be what set them up for that. And most women in general don't realize they're playing Russian roulette every time they have a sexual entanglement with a male. Russian roulette? Really? Isn't that a bit melodramatic? HPV is the most common STI. It's not that serious. Right. It's only serious enough to invest more than 7 billion a year in the development of vaccines. Think about it. If men naturally carry HPV but you don't know whether the man you're sleeping with carries a type that causes cancer and spontaneous abortions, then you are taking chances with your life, because you quite literally could die like hundreds of thousands of other women around the world every year, and your unborn child could die too. Just like in Russian roulette, you don't know which man will infect you with a cancer-causing type of HPV, and it doesn't matter if this is your boyfriend, husband or a one-night stand, you could literally lose your life or the life of your unborn child, as it might be in the case for the woman who rode into Redliner. And if you happen to be one of the lucky women who doesn't die from it, you still may have to go through years of fear, uncertainty, and unpleasant cancer treatments in order to survive. So why wouldn't women just want to test his sperm first, to avoid all of that, if that test was available? Well I think it would be a good idea you know, if these pharmaceutical companies or whatever, would come up with a way that people could test sperm for different HPV types at home. At least the ones that could cause cancer and miscarriages. I'm just saying. The company Legacy makes home testing kits for six different sexually transmitted infections, but not for testing sperm for cancer-causing HPV types. 
But if people would just start demanding it, especially women, since we are the ones at risk for cervical cancer and going to prison for having miscarriages, or if we would stop having entanglements with men until these tests are available, then it wouldn't be long before we could just walk into any pharmacy and buy an HPV sperm testing kit off the shelf, as easily as we can buy a pregnancy test. Well, you know, I, that's a lot of ifs. To the redliner woman, we are truly sorry for your loss and we wish the best for you in the meantime. As you said, you can't keep your secret, secret indefinitely, and the longer you wait, the worse it's going to be for you health-wise, and maybe if at some point you do have to defend yourself in a court of law. So, while you're trying to figure out how to move forward, click the links below to go to the National Institutes of Health and read and print out the studies about how cancer-causing HPV could be the reason for your loss, or take a look at the video, Love Sex and Men. What every girl should know, to find out a lot more that women need to know about what causes them to experience a variety of things associated with male-female relationships, and be prepared to present this information as evidence in a court of law if necessary. Or just keep the information in mind you know, to help you have better relationships in the future. Oh don't leave just yet. Take a moment to hit that like button. There's much more to come, so subscribe and turn on that notification bell too. And remember, lots of women in the world need this information and they want to know what you have to say. So put your comments below and share, share, share.